What's up guys, I'm Steve Butcher. I'm from New Zealand and we're here in my studio in Huntington Beach. I've been tattooing for 13 years and currently living here in California. Shooting for Ink Junkies magazine. She's like the reason why I started and my biggest kind of like motivation and inspiration in art. So. We're about to take a walk through my private studio. All right, so this is some merch I have, some t-shirts. I'm a big, big fan of cartoons and stuff like that. So uh, I had an artist help me out and we designed these together. So I got like Dragon Ball Z, Space Jam, South Park, Pokemon, Simpsons, Bob's Burgers. Rick and Morty, Spongebob, just all my favorite cartoons, you know? Good old logo right here. I worked on this for like two years with a bunch of friends and uh, we kind of batted ideas back and forth and finally got to this logo, which I fell in love with, so. This piece here is done by my mom. My mom does a lot of cross stitch and stuff, so all of these are tiny little cross stitches. I'm a big Kobe fan, as you can see, so this is all like shoes that I own and his championship rings and stuff. And then moving over to the Kobe Shrine. This is an amazing piece of artwork I had done by uh, Happy Life Wood is his Instagram handle. And uh, yeah, he's an amazing artist, man. All of this is made out of just wood, no stains, no paints, no nothing like that. Another piece by my mom, Portrait of Kobe. This got sent to me by an artist off Instagram. Yeah, man, just love this dude. He's like my life idol. This is an awesome piece of art I got from my friend Pooch. It's all done with color pencils. He's amazing, man. Come over here, you can meet my trigger fish, if he doesn't hide. He's a Nydra trigger. He's awesome, he's like a little piranha. And this is his little food. Signed Magic Johnson jersey, another one of like my sport athlete idols. A good friend of mine, Mike Devries, gave this to me, so thank you, homie. My big collection of inks, these are colors I use on a daily basis. More colors than I know what to do with, pretty much. A few awards and stuff that I've won that I've just failed to give to my mom, because my mom keeps all of my trophies and stuff like that and, uh, and puts them all up on a wall and stuff like that. So I just need to send these back to her. And then this is just all my kind of like collectible stuff. Got 1990s Wheaties box, lots of different kind of collectibles. The balls up here are all players that I've tattooed and asked them to sign uh, memorabilia and stuff for me. There's a, this is Lonzo, Lonzo Ball. I did his full arm, the uh, like, Black Excellence or whatever you want to call it. It was like um, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, all people that were kind of influential in black culture. Danny Green, Marcel Reese, done a lot of football players as well. I don't watch a lot of football, but I do a lot, I tattoo a lot of the players. And yeah, this little guy's Rango from the movie, Johnny yeah. Depp. We gotta get him a little top hat, little cowboy hat. They're dope, man. Do you want, do you want him there? <laughs> I can move him. Whose tattooing's given me everything. Changed my life. It literally gave me everything that I have. I've traveled the world. I've been to like 25 different countries, tattooed all over the world, uh, met so many different people and like some of my best friends in my entire life I've met through the tattoo industry. So, so the way I started tattooing was my Nana got diagnosed with lung cancer and after she passed away, I wanted to get a portrait of her, so uh, there was only one guy I knew that was tattooing at the time, and he'd only just started. He was tattooing out of his house. Uh, he'd never done a portrait before either, so I was his first portrait. I sat for six hours and got the portrait of my Nana, and during that time, I was kind of watching what he was doing and stuff, and I was like, man, I could do this. Because uh, I was at art school, I knew I wanted to do something with art, but I didn't know what. You know, I, like I could paint, I can draw, but I didn't know what I wanted to be a career, you know? And then that was kind of like, gave me a little path to follow. And I just bought a little kit off the internet, like from China or something like that. And just started tattooing my friends out of my house, man. And yeah, the rest is history. My style has changed quite a lot since I started tattooing. When I first started, uh, I was kind of like a jack of all trades because I had to work in a street shop, so I was getting different clients every day. And so I had to be good at everything. I had to do lines, do writing, do Japanese, do traditional. But it also gave me an opportunity to kind of become a salesman and start talking people into doing what I wanted to start doing. So I'd always painted realism and always drawn realism. And so 
for me it was an easy transition to want to start doing realism and tattoos. So I started doing it and eventually just became kind of my niche to do crazy detailed stuff and try to get it as close to the photo as I can. As much as you're tattooing every day, it doesn't feel repetitive. Every day is different, you know what I mean? And, and it also, like when someone tells me, just do a painting, paint whatever you want. It's the hardest thing in the world for, it, for me to do because every day I get told what to draw, what to, you know what I mean? Like people are like, I want this, I want something like this. And then I get to kind of creatively come up with an idea. But then when it's just my own brain, I'm like, drawing a blank man <laughs> no one's telling me what to do so uh it's it's good in that respect that no day is the same and everything everything changes you know it's great i think one of the challenges i faced was definitely just being like an outsider and being from new zealand traveling and turning up at conventions where it's a bunch of like big wigs in the tattoo industry you know and just forcing it that I'm gonna fit in here. I'm gonna make sure I fit in here. And then kind of just traveling by yourself, being by yourself like that. Like that's why I think I value friendship so much and, and stuff like that is because when you're by yourself, you kind of have nothing else to kind of bat ideas off or anything like that. So definitely getting self-motivation and stuff I feel is, is one of my biggest challenges. Travel, travel, travel. Don't stay in your city. Do your best to get out there. Pay to go to conventions. Pay to go to other countries and, and force your name out there in the industry and make sure people know who you are. My favorite tattoo on my body would be this portrait of my grandma, my nana, done by Dean Sacred in New Zealand. Um, she controls my tattoo hand. She controls anything I draw, so she's like, the reason why I started and my biggest kind of like motivation and inspiration in art. So.